this little pack right here this one is my uh, fire capability my fire starting little kit um, inside here just got some matches got a bunch of little uh, real real sturdy foil in here uh, this is something that I haven't seen yet on on, on YouTube um, I might have but I don't remember this is basically just uh, wire um, this is real strong just real pliable wire and you can use this for you know hundreds of different things and my philosophy around using this wire you, know, you can use this for cooking hanging your pot over the cooking stove you know hang your food on it uh, help keep your tent up wrap it around your tent help you know carry stuff on your backpack and the cool thing is you know it's not like paracord or anything it won't it won't burn it won't uh, tarnish it's actually you know real real sturdy wire you can use it for anything and I just wrapped it around this little T ring that I had in my garage I definitely recommend this for you guys just go to your local hardware store find some wire wrap it around a piece of metal and there you go inside here basically just got all your basic fire start capabilities got some uh, cotton balls these little wet fire starters I've got some waterproof matches here I've got a candle in here I have my uh, ferrule rod another ferrule rod this is actually pretty cool this is actually a push ferrule rod let me open this for you so here's the ferrule rod uh, it is spring loaded so it stays in top stays inside here pretty nice you just flip it open and uh, this isn't I mean you can I guess you can use it like a ferrule rod but you got a striker you can strike it that way but this also has a uh, pressure stick and it's got if y'all can see that it's got uh, the stick on the inside so basically you put pressure on it and wherever you want to strike your fire you put pressure and you push it down and it sparks pretty well I don't know if y'all saw that not very good but I didn't do a very good job there, but you guys get the idea. Works pretty well. I've used it before. It's how I usually start my fires. Good little thing. Pretty innovative. I haven't seen one like that before, so I bought that one. Basically, everything else in here, I just got some another another couple lighters, some uh, birthday candles, and that sort of thing. Just all your basic essentials for fire starting capability. This last pouch right here. All it is, all this little pouch contains, just some extra 22 ammo. In a bug out situation, uh, one of the guns I will be grabbing, my wife will be grabbing, is a, a 22. And the good thing about our 22 is uh, it doesn't require magazines or extra clips. It's uh, just fed straight through uh, underneath the barrel. I think it holds about 14 rounds. So having this little tiny uh, pouch right here filled with about 100 uh, rounds of 22 ammo hollow points is a, a must have. Also, I like to carry. I like to carry an extra pair of pants. These are 511 uh, Tac Light Pros. I really like these pants. I've tested them before camping and hiking numerous times. Excuse me. I really like these. Um, I have a pair of khaki or a coyote pair that I usually take out there that I'm wearing. And then if I need to change or have an extra pair, I've got an extra pair. I just have a extra long sleeve uh, coyote color. Got some real tree camo on it. I really like the shirt. Real comfortable. It's made out of cotton. Real soft. Uh, extra shirt I like to carry. In the back here, I just have an extra 8x10 tarp. Uh, it's always good to have a big tarp. You can use it for rain cover, you can use it to put on the ground, uh, over your head to actually make a shelter out of. It's real good. Um, I don't see you guys, anyone making a uh, bug out bag without some kind of shelter or some improvised shelter without a tarp or something. In the back here is just another mesh pocket. It's just a couple pairs of socks in the plastic bag, CR123 batteries, double A's, triple A batteries, that sort of thing. Always good to have extra batteries in the back. And right here in these front pockets, these front mesh pockets, this one does open from the top and on the bottom so you can easily get to it you know, either way you need to. This one in here just got some wet ones and some CVS uh, washcloths, basically the same thing as wet ones. Just help keep your hands sanitized, washed down if you've been out sweating for a while. This one. I just carry some rain ponchos. Have two of them in here. Um, I've had I have used these before in the past, and they do rip pretty easily if you're not careful. So, you know, I could use one for a pack cover, you know, but I do have this. So, like if I was traveling with someone, he can have one, I can have one, or just have a backup. Just have some extra plastic bags. Never know when you're going to need some plastic bags. Uh, I do have a uh, little fishing kit in here, a survival fishing kit. It's just got some eight-pound tests, some weights, a couple bobbers 
some hooks. Um, has this little plastic uh, container inside. I could put, you know, find little crickets or bugs in there, but you know, you could always do that with this or put some fish in here or uh, take some food in here, whatever you can. Well, you know, basically whatever you can do to use plastic bag. No, no, no. And then I just have one of these, you know, emergency uh, self-heating blankets where you put it on and it reflects the body heat off you. It's got one little pocket down here, kind of like a little hidden pocket. And basically in here I just have some simple uh, toiletry items. Uh, right here I just have some toilet paper. I know they sell these. Coleman makes some uh, like survival toilet paper and that sort of thing, but I like to, I don't like, I've used that before and it's pretty rough. Uh, it's kind of like the stuff like you would see back in uh, school or in gas stations, that real thin, real rough toilet paper. So basically this is just, you know, ultra plush toilet paper that I stole out of our bathroom in our house and just rolled it up myself and kept it in there. I like to have nice toilet paper. Just got some extra soap, took from a hotel, you know, they always leave extra there, so. Why not have some soap there and just some uh, hand sanitizer. And that's pretty much it as far as uh, the contents of my bug out bag. As you can see, it's uh, I got quite a bit um, here and uh, the, the Rush 24 can hold quite a bit. Um, and that's pretty much it guys. My bug out bag is always evolving and I never believe that it's going to be finished or uh, you know, I like to believe that but I always find new gear to buy and put in and then take old gear out if I find something new, you know, that's that kind of sort of thing. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys got any comments or any tips, any, uh, you know, any recommendations, please let me know. My name is ATAC, and this is the Dual Tactics and Gear Channel. Thanks.